Ooh. Good morning and good day, whatever you are. Um, Xiaomi Fun Snap, foldable design, and artificial intelligence. This is what makes the Ido drone rather unique at a not very unique price tag. You like to inspect new cool tech? Well, here is a great piece. Good drones are expensive. Cheap drones can be annoying and hard to control. Casey Neistat was talking about the sweet spot in his DJI Mavic 2 Zoom review. I can't quite say whether the idol nails the sweet spot. It will be you telling in the comments below. I'll just show you what this device represents. First, some background about the company and the idea of this project. Apparently this is another crowdfunded device and it has been backed by Xiaomi. There is no original Xiaomi branding, but they seem to have helped with the marketing and development. The drone has camera and, as per the advertisement, artificial intelligence which is capable of analyzing movements, gestures and executing actions based on those. Sounds fancy. And this is of course the idea of marketing to make things as shiny as possible. I'm going to say it up front, if you expect to see a DJI Spark Challenger, we're not quite close with this one. But it is certainly fun to fly, it is safe, portable and easy to control, which are serious reasons to consider buying a UAV. Let's start with the unboxing and the flight preparations. The idle drone arrives packed in quite a big box, considerably bigger than boxes designed for significantly larger aircrafts. While it certainly gives you a wow effect, maybe having something more compact will make good sense from practical point of view. Note that we're unboxing here the so-called Platinum set, which includes a second battery and a transmitter. This is of course the more expensive combo priced at 260 US dollars at the moment of making this review. The transmitter is very ergonomic, you will notice the lack of any antennas, which is quite fair and a good sign that FunSnap seem to play a fair game with the design. You probably know that there are plenty of transmitters that have fake antennas, just simple, fancy-looking plastic gimmicks which have no actual impact on the signal. There's a good mechanism for placing a smartphone. Maybe not as good as the DJI transmitter's design, but this here easily beats the Bucks 3 and 5 series setup in terms of implementation. The simplistic design may trick you that the drone doesn't support some functions, but just give it a moment. The battery is 2 cell with 7.6 volt output and it's supposed to keep the drone for about 10 minutes flying in the air. Charging time is around an hour and a half and is done via elegant docking station. One piece at a time. The essence of the review is of course the FunSnap Idol itself. The design is in my opinion great. It snaps in half and maybe this is where the name comes from. A great benefit is the safety. It is almost impossible to harm someone and enforcing safety in such a way is very thoughtful and a component we tend to ignore very often. Although I'm a great fan of the design, I could criticize the materials used. On one side there is a desire to make it as lightweight as possible, but these materials feel quite cheap. Even the props feel as if they are made out of terrible quality plastic. I'm saying all that based on a personal feeling and could be that other people think of it otherwise. Concerning the hardware, it supports headless mode, meaning that you can fly it without paying attention where the head is pointing to. There is altitude hold, stabilizing the aircraft at a given height. There's GPS, so that flying is safe. And if you lose range or accidentally your phone crashes, it will return safely back to the takeoff home point and it has sensors for precision flying indoors. 
At the bottom there's the ultrasonic sensor, which, based on ultrasonic sound pulses, is measuring distance to objects and the ground and guarantees very smooth landing. And there is a small camera, a flow sensor, which more and more cheaper drones in 2018 tend to get. Its purpose is to identify the ground details and is of great help, especially flying indoors. The drone will hover at a single point without any need to support or navigate it with the transmitter. The most important piece of hardware to highlight is the 1080p camera, tiltable, and it can even point upwards. Enough hardware specs. Time for flight experience. No matter if you have the transmitter or not, it is a must to get the fun snap up. It's the easiest way to take advantage of the full feature set. If you connect the drone to the smartphone app before the transmitter is bound, it wouldn't really work. This is not specified in the user guide and I discovered it the hard way. Overall, the preparation for your first takeoff will require a few minutes. After you invest that time for your first flight, the next ones will be like this. Take the drone out of the carrying case, power it on, bind the transmitter, open the app and literally within 30 seconds you're good to go no matter whether the GPS is there or not. Portability and preparation is brought to a minimum. So if you want to get selfies from fancy angles, this is a good way to do it. Pay attention to the distance, as the range is somewhat limited, FPV goes off after around 50 meters and transmitter will drop connection after 100. Flight experience is overall good in quiet weather. Because of the construction, the drone is sensitive to wind, in fact much more than most of the drones with brushless motors. By default it is running in high speed mode and you can't change that default setting. To enable slow speeds, you can go and adjust the setting via the app. Controls are easy. Thanks to the GPS and the sensors, you can expect it to be positioned steady. And this gives you a good chance to think about your video or photo composition. Unfortunately, the videos won't be that cinematic, because there is no image stabilization, not even electronic one. Due to the size and motors, footage is not too shaky, however far from being stable. Right now you can build a drone with gimbal and decent action camera at a price around 300 or get the new Bayang Toys X22 that comes with 3-axis gimbal and FPV camera for less than that combo and achieve way better results. Of course, the portability and AI capabilities here are not to be ignored. The smart modes, Rocket, known from DJI's latest software improvements, and of course not that cool, there's a mode to spin at 36 degree and the droney basically doing backwards and upwards simultaneously. Intelligent tracking stands for follow me mode and it works the same way as you have it on the DJI Spark for instance, select an area from the screen and it will follow it, or will at least try. If you follow yourself, don't run too fast, the idol may not be able to catch up. There is the gesture control, guess what? I've read the menus, checked some of the forums, asked around, well, AI based drone, and the AI functions are not explained in the manual. At least I found the gesture to land it. As for the camera, you can see the footage yourself, good colors, mixed with a lot of jello, 78 degree field of view, which is perfect, and really a lot of details. While working on the post-production, I realized that this one shoots better full HD than many of the action cams I've tested. And the best thing, you don't need a micro SD. There is a 16 gig embedded flash. The flight time was below 10 minutes, I managed to make it up to 8, which was a little disappointing. Don't know what to say at the end, already gave my recommendation to FunSnap to lower the price of the Platinum combo if possible, because for 260 US dollars you can already get 
a used DJI Spark in mint condition and the path to happiness there is much shorter. I think the drone is good, especially for beginners and people that want portable and a fun to fly toy. I do agree with the naming, it is fun and it snaps. At the end, here's a little task. $260, the current price of the full set, what kind of drone would you buy at that price and why? I'll make sure to pin up the most creative answers. Thank you for watching this review, be fit and happy and see you soon!